Killer B small unmanned air vehicle is built by Swift Engineering in San Clemente, California. Designed to meet the requirements of the Joint Navy Marine Corps Tier 2 air vehicle, the Killer B offers persistent ISR capability up to 15 hours with stabilized EOIR payload or optional weapon system. The Killer B can operate at speeds from 60 to 110 knots or 126 miles per hour. The standard ISR communications package is 30 pounds. However, by trading endurance for payload, the KBUA can accommodate 20 pounds of additional payload with 10 hours endurance. The Killer B is highly mobile and can be deployed by as few as two personnel. The Killer B system consists of a single 20-foot trailer that includes a launcher, three Killer B UAs, a net recovery system, fuel tanks, and a diesel generator. The ground control station has a dual workstation layout that provides total system redundancy for the air vehicle operator and mission payload operator. The GCS hardware can take different forms while leveraging from a standard set of COTS hardware. The KBUA system consists of a GCS trailer tow vehicle with shelter or a portable GCS in rugged cases. The standard Killer B small unmanned combat air vehicle system, KBS UCAS armament will include the lethal M32 grenade launcher with six 40 millimeter thermobaric grenades, the non-lethal compact high power green laser illuminators and the medium range acoustic device, AKA the LRAD 500. These packages will be electronically adapted and aerodynamically conform to the underside of a Killer B fuselage. All weapons are controlled by the SUCAS operator once hostile target intent is determined. Video is transmitted real time back to the ground control station. The KBUA is the next generation unmanned aircraft system. With these advanced features, KBUA is the heart of the system, having exceptional volume and capacity, allowing for true commercial off-the-shelf payload to be integrated rather than custom proprietary. The UA system packs into two major assemblies, trailer and GCS, both transportable on MV-22, standard ISO 20-foot container, and is Humvee deployable. Autonomously launched and recovered into the net, the system is easily operated by two men. The launcher functions are controlled and monitored by advanced GCS software, reducing operator workload. The truth is, nobody's got the combination of capabilities that gives you the flexibility to meet a wide range of missions. The Swift Killer B. is calling for KB support checkpoint 8. Killer B Swarm Alpha has rendezvoused and is holding over COP. Roger. Commence interdiction and TAOR Ohio. Roger that. Lead KB has a visual on three possible AIF cutting pavement on MSR Alaska. Then identified objects sitting on road adjacent activity. Two personnel appear to have small arms. Let's see if we can get them to disperse. Hit them with the MRAD. Order them to leave the area, leaving their weapons behind. Leave the area. Leave your weapons behind. They aren't responding, Gunny. I'm executing EOF. Roger, you're cleared for engagement. Ensure your IP and attack azimuth do not endanger friendlies or innocents. KB-3 should be orbiting above in an RP. Line up as a section to an IP and attack with multiple HETP rounds. KB-3 engaging targets. Targets destroyed. Looks like we got them. KB-1 
one sees two AIF prone and immobile. Looks like they're wounded for sure. The third guy's running away without his weapon. Wow, looks like we just got a secondary after KV-2's passed. That's one less IED to worry about. Good job. Let's get some altitude and continue the